Welcome to Victorian Garden Scattery. Today is April the 3rd, 2019. We're in the toddler room with four kittens. And they just had their first bath today and their first photo shoot. And now they're getting a video, which they have not had for quite a while. Um, we have, let's see, over there in the corner, we've got Petunia's little blue and white boy, and he is six and a half weeks old today. He's the one playing with the white tennis ball, or ping pong ball. They love those ping pong balls, and they always go behind the litter box. Um, though... Right in the middle of the screen, we have Iris's chocolate point girl. <laughs> we found out um, about a week and a half ago, or two weeks ago, that he was not a he, that she was a she when we were giving her a butt bath. So she is a special needs. And believe it or not, she's already adopted before we even go to PICS. Um, somebody on our wait list wanted her and fell in love with her immediately. She is just an absolute love bug. Um, let's see. Over running around over there is a chocolate torty, tortoise shell Persian going in the litter box. That's Iris's kitten. She is now seven and a half weeks old. And she this week has been climbing out of the fence, playing with her mom right there, Iris. There's Iris. So um, she wasn't supposed to do that because we have all our PlayStations and we have to disinfect them all. And we just haven't had the time yet. But this week we're going to start disinfecting and the babies will ha start to have PlayStations. They have this one here, but they, the only one that climbs up on that is the chocolate um, tortoiseshell. And then we have Holly's little baby over here. Absolute darling little boy. So we have um, all boys, well, two boys and two girls, and he's a seal. We weren't sure for a while, but we just made that determination that he's a seal. They just started with the DeBird today, so this is brand new for them. So they'll be a little hesitant, though she seems, um, the chocolate tortoiseshell, sometimes at strange noises, she will go right, run, uh, run and hide behind the litter boxes. But she's doing really well. She had her bath, she did really good with her bath, good with her photo shoot, and now I cleaned in here today after all of that, and they were in the carrier all together and they did really well. And a lot of people ask about this special needs little boy, girl, and she plays like she has sight. She does everything all the others do. She's a little intimidated by the DeBerg because we just brought it out. But she can't see it, so, but she can hear it. <laughs> So they're um, perking up to it. It'll just take a little bit of time. I've been delayed in getting it out to them. Um, we went away for a few days just to have a break. And so we're, um, we're going to be working on it. Um, as you can tell, we kind of did a little bit of remodeling and changing and new mat in our toddler room. We're still working on the curtains, but they'll get done eventually. We have some older cats or older kittens at the door. Someone's fighting. They see, they hear the bird and they want to play with it. Let's see if I can get her to play yet. It's a little early. But um, they all four play and run around. That's Holly, Miss Protective. Um, Iris and Holly have not been getting along, so that's a little bit why they're scared um, at noises and stuff is that those girls start 
growling and these kittens start running for cover. So I'm going to um, try to get it down to one mom, but Holly tends to scream into the other room if she is not around these babies. She thinks of them as her own. She doesn't like Iris in here. If I put Iris out, Iris cries at the door to get in. So it's um, a tough call. This is a little play girl. She knows how to play. Yep. And she was scared of this earlier today when I brought it out for the first time. Now look at her. Yep. Iris makes play kittens. Holly makes play kittens too. But this little boy of Holly's actually last week curled up in my lap. Kept climbing up in my lap. So I, I don't know. That's unusual for a Holly baby because they're usually just play. Um, and Mochi... Our blind little kitten, very much a love bug. You can hold him for a long time, and he just loves to be held, or she. So her mom's picked the name Moji. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Okay, blue and white, where are you? Yeah, she likes this. He does too. He goes wild at this too. The blue and white. Kind of a little intimidated by it. But... We visited our families while we were, I was on vacation, and that was great. We visited two families. Moji, you want to play with it? Let's see if we can get Holly's baby playing. Girls, guess it's one way of getting her out of her shell. The blue and white wants to play with it, but I think the uh, Iris's little chocolate tortoise shell is taking over. I'm still scared of it. We know who's going to hog it. <laughs> um, the tunnel we made, we crocheted, I crocheted. Um, my neighbor crocheted a green one for the toddler room. And we really like them. They're washable. And um, what we did is that's one skein of yarn right, uh, yarn right there. And we crocheted it with a big crochet. It's a big, thick uh, yarn. And it washes up really good. And the inside is toss rings um, that keep it up. So it's a safer than regular um, plastic tunnels. It doesn't have any wire in it. It's plastic round toss, like ring toss uh, rings that we got on Amazon. I'll put the link below if any of you guys crochet and want to crochet it. Just single crochet over and over again. And um, takes about one skein of the really big thick, um, really big thick yarn. So, and it's a nice size. I'm working on one now, a pink one, that's double that size. I just haven't had time, been too busy to finish it, but um, it soon shall be finished. Moji, Moji, Moji. I say it so many different ways, but I think she knows what her name is. So we're going to say goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery. We'll try to get to be a little bit better now on videos as they're getting older. Um, they're all potty trained right now. And uh, 
They are all weaned. I think Holly's totally out of milk, though you need to let these kittens know that because they're still nursing on her. She doesn't have anything. And Iris does have um, milk, but as I said, she stays outside the fence. So it's probably why her little girl climbs the fence. Holly, you want to play with this? So we'll say goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery and Iris and Petunia and Holly's Nursery. Bye for now.